Hi, I'm Wayne Andresen, and I'm going to show you how I carve this prize-winning jack-o'-lantern. We'll start by choosing a pumpkin, and that will be your canvas. Then, of course, like anything that turns out, you have to design it. So we'll work through how I designed this pumpkin, and drew in the teeth, and got a good drawing, of course. Oh yeah, sometimes with shell. Okay, I like that now. Big again. That's the tooth. Good. Alright, well, it's when we... I don't know, Scott's been swearing a lot, saying that lately. This is where I say, well, I can... Mm -hmm. I can't try to this thing up. Okay. somewhere like that and of course after you get your drawing all worked out then you need to transfer or draw that face on the pumpkin I like to draw it kind of light I'm taking this a little bit darker marker so that you can see it as well but that way you don't have lines showing up if you don't cut exactly on the line then of course, cut it. And gut it. Or at least pull all the seeds out. Have your kids help you if they want. It's a lot of fun, but don't cut their thumbs off. Or your own thumb for that matter. And then start cutting into it. You want to cut big around the place you're going to carve because you need to have some space to carve. You can always come back in and carve more out but it's hard to add pumpkin back then you need to skin out the teeth a little bit skin out the teeth a little more because we're going to sculpt these and then start carving into the teeth this guy could use some dental floss and then start sculpting them out here's a view from the inside Chisel those babies out, make it look toothy. Give it some gums, gingivitis. Got to make a tongue. We're going to use the piece we carved out of the mouth here, sculpt that into a tongue. And then we use these other little pumpkin type things and use those for eyeballs. Got to attach them. And this funny thing, which doesn't cut very easily, a gourd type dill that I bought at the same place I got the pumpkin. In his eye. Gonna use it, and another one like it, for a couple of crazy horns. You don't want to chop off any of the green stuff on the other one? Yes. There, once you got your crazy horns and stuff, you've got to attach them. I'm using screws. Got to attach the tongue. Once again, I'm using screws and a basic Phillips screwdriver and screw those babies in right where you want them then we gotta carve the little guy this little pumpkin's a little bit hard to carve but carve him out too carve out those teeth and carve them out some more funny how long it takes just to carve this little guy but we want him to match so we're kinda sculpting out teeth as well and say hello to Wayne and it should look like this and then add a little bit of color you don't have to but acrylic paint goes nicely on this since it's water base I found that it never really dried though because the pumpkin is so damp and add a little more color paint it here paint it there maybe add some color to the little guy too and then attach him to the tongue. I want them to both kind of be looking at the same direction. And I'm using screws there too. And we're going to actually add a little seed here to look like a drop of spit. And there's my prize winning jack o' lantern. Now you can see the entire course if you'd like to go to folioacademy.com and look for it there. It should be under fun stuff or under three dimensional or 
sculpture, or any of those areas, Folio Academy, where we sell art lesson videos online. Thank you so much. And yes, I didn't have a candle, so I just built a fire in his mouth. But that looks cool too. So happy Halloween and happy carving.